What's up guys, my name is Aiden Garrido with the Five Reasons Sports Network and the Marlins just got their first win of the year. 0-9 start, they finally get a win in the win column and they beat uh, the Cardinals in St. Louis. Hopefully they could, you know, build upon this. They head to New York tomorrow to play the Yankees and we'll see how it goes from there. But earlier today, um, there was a report that the Marlins and Skip Schumacher will be parting ways after this year. Um, so the Marlins will be in need for a new manager again. There's just no direction, I feel like, with this team. There's a lot of frustration from Marlins fans. They want answers. You know, they make the playoffs last season and, you know, there was hope. There's hope that this team actually might be back. They might be back um, at a competitive level to compete with, you know, the best of the best, the contenders of baseball. But again, this slow start, it feels like, you know, it's a rebuild all over again. Are they going to get rid of Arias, Luzardo, their star players at the deadline? You know, are they going to do a massive fire sale? And there's just no sense of direction. There's no answers. Um, fans are left in the dark. They they had a relatively quiet off season. Didn't sign a lot of big names. Um, missed out on you know J D Martinez. They missed out on Mitch Garver. Some big big name bats, and some of that was because. I mean, they probably didn't want to play in Miami, but also, you know, you need to build upon success, right? The injuries do kill the team. Starting pitching, you know, Yuri Perez is out for the year. Sandy was out for the year. We knew that, but this just makes, this just raises a lot more questions in my opinion. Are they going to get rid of all these guys on their team and start from scratch? Um, because, you know, this year, this season, unless a massive, you know, massive miracle happens, this season is probably not going to be one that's as successful as last year, honestly, because, you know, nine losses in a row before getting your first victory is not ideal. So just a lot of frustration, you know, the Marlins are in this never ending cycle of, you know, once you have success once you have a successful season you just blow it all up and you don't build upon that because they lost Jorge Soler in the offseason who was a big part of the offense last year and you know he was actually one of the few signings that actually panned out for the Marlins when they did decide to spend money because you know a lot of swings and misses when they decide to sign free agents. You know, obviously, I Garcia, massive contract, four years, um, I believe over $50 million. He has been a disaster. They signed Gene Segura, and he did not pan out. Um, a lot of swings and misses, and, you know, it's just really frustrating as a Marlins fan. Really, fr I know, I'm sure the organization knows how frustrated fans are because you know you could see the attendance numbers, right? Fans are not going to show up to a losing product. They want to see winning products, and honestly, the crowd at opening day, the first game of the year, was electric. It was loud. It was, I think, the largest opening day crowd that Lone Depot Park had had since 2016, and you know, just that sign shows that there's fans that will watch a team that wins consistently and they want to see that. They want to see that from the team that they care about winning because it's just always, you know, rebuild, rebuild, rebuild. It feels like the Marlins have been rebuilding since 2003, right? So just something that I wanted to get off my chest and I'm sure a lot of Marlins fans feel the same way as I do so yeah hopefully you know the team could uh, do better this season you know kind of 
rack up a couple more wins, you know, get on a streak, kind of make up for those nine, nine consecutive losses that they had um, to start at the year. But you can follow the Five Reasons Sports Network on X, subscribe to them on YouTube. Same with the Flip the M podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and you could follow uh, Flip the M on X as well.